Every day when I go to have lunch, I open YouTube and search for mukbang content. First of all, what is mukbang? Mukbang videos are when people go online and start eating massive amounts of food in front of people and interact with like audience and stuff. What I usually look for is something like Eric the Electric, who's entertaining and also eating something because I like to eat with someone. So according to ChatGPT, mukbang is a popular trend from South Korea where people live stream or record themselves eating large amounts of food while interacting with viewers. It combines entertainment, social connection, and sometimes ASMR, making viewers feel like they are dining with the host. And that's exactly why I look for something that has someone eating in front of me. One of my favorite channels is Eric the Electric. I've been watching him for a while and I like the type of content that he makes. I've also stumbled upon a couple of channels like Nikocado Avocado and the catchy name is what actually caught my attention to watch his videos. I usually feel like his videos are cringy, but Nikocado as a person is very famous. His real name is Nicholas Perry. He is a popular but controversial YouTuber known for his extreme mukbang videos. Originally a vegan YouTuber, he later shifted to high calorie eating challenges, gaining significant attention for his over the top personality, emotional outbursts and physical transformation over the years. When they say physical transformation, that doesn't mean going from a bad shape to a good body shape. That means going from a normal guy who's eating healthy and he is basically vegan to a person who's eating everything in sight, eating large amounts of foods up to the point that he has to have something like a breathing support system. This is where it gets not just cringy, but medically dangerous. Although I find his videos cringy, like this guy is famous, like mega famous. He has 4.5 million subscribers which is an insane number for any YouTuber. On the other hand, Eric the Electric serves the exact same type of content, but he looks thinner. He doesn't serve um, that cringy type of screaming and crying type of content. Like, I don't like these things. I'm not here to stress myself out. I'm here just to watch something fun and light while I eat my meal. It's actually unappetizing to watch Nikocado Avocado's content. While Eric's content actually, like, gets me curious what is the best fried chicken he had because he compares them sometimes and he eats like a whole menu. I'd like to see the whole menu, although it's unhealthy which is the part that I can speak about. Eric eats 30 to 50,000 calories a meal. That's insane. Whenever I eat one calorie above 2,000 a day, it's like the end for me. I have to go walk for 60 minutes on incline, on the treadmill, and then I have to go lift weights just to compensate for the one calorie that I ate because I feel like I'm going to get fat and I usually gain weight when I do that. And this guy eats 30,000 calories in one meal and he doesn't get fat. There's two situations. Either there's something wrong with me and Nick or Eric is doing something else, which is actually the case. Eric plays sports. He is an athlete. That makes him a person who moves for a living. He just runs and swim. Like the guy is literally an Ironman champion. What is an Ironman? An Ironman is an endurance race consisting of 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike ride, and 26.2 mile marathon completed consecutively within 17 hours. You have to run, swim, and bike for 17 hours. And I didn't go to the gym because I have to walk for 20 minutes. This is why Eric doesn't gain weight. He weight lifts heavily. He does some powerlifting stuff. He's an Ironman champion twice, not once. Nick on the other side is sitting the whole day just screaming, crying, making content. Yes, he has a lot of money, but Nick is selling his health just for money. That's it. Eric, on the other hand, has the same amount of subscribers, 4.2 million subscribers, and he has money. Yes, he makes content for a living. 
and he checks all the same boxes as Nick Okado, but Nick gains weight because he doesn't do the activities that's needed to compensate for the food he's eating. He's just consuming without burning the exact same amount of calories. You have to eat 7,000 calories above your maintenance to gain one kilogram of fat. That's 2.2 pounds. Imagine the amount of food he's eating above his maintenance. The guy is not muscular. I assume he doesn't have a very high metabolism rate. Eric has a high metabolism rate because he's running, he's doing these marathons, and he's lifting weights, and he's muscular. Like The guy has a muscle mass. Nick did not have any muscle mass, and that's the main difference between you and the other athletic person who eats everything and doesn't get fat. So you can choose your way. Yes, it's not the same for everybody. Some people would have to move more because their metabolism rate is slower than other people. That's genetics. We can't control these. But what we can control is our calorie consumption and the use of these calories. We can move more, eat less, and stay healthy.